Hello everyone, my name is Supriya Das Francis and I, I have been working as a teacher to various schools. I worked with uh, IB schools, I worked with CBSE school, uh, ICSE schools and state board schools. Up, after almost spending 26 years in school, I have realized with my experience that, you know, students face lots of challenges uh, learning maths in school. Most of the time teachers just solve one or two sums and the entire exercise is given to them to do it as homework or for practice where most of the student lose interest because the concept is clear, not clear some amount of laziness set in children where they don't want to practice so what is the solution the best solution is to learn the concept in the most easiest way and understand it well and with less practice you need to get the accurate answer okay you cannot be doubtful about your answer so here is the solution the solution is suggested by vedic math and today in this session we are going to learn about three digit multiplication most of the time in old method we used to do multiplication like 375 multiplied by 469 and what we used to do is we used to multiply 9 with 5 9 with 7 9 with 3 and the uh, method becomes so lengthy that students or small children they lose the track of their answer they uh, they get so puzzled with saying table n number of times and then getting it correctly and then writing it as carry over becomes really complicated so here you are going to learn the most easiest way of multiplying three digit with any three digit number any three digit number multiplying with any three digit number so let me calculate the same set of number with super ease and i expect you to have a notebook or a paper and pen along with you so that you can practice it with me so here we are taking three digit number this is three seven five four six nine now if we have to multiply what would we do if you want you can switch on timer and see it may take two minutes because i'm explaining it to you but just be attentive very simple the first step is we need to draw three lines so we are going to draw one line two line three lines we have four columns but we for this three digit multiplication we need five columns so what we are going to do we are going to draw one more line done so you have to remember for three digit number you need to draw four lines because we need five columns clear now the first step if you have seen my previous video how did we do two digit multiplication i'm sure you will remember how we are going to multiply first number so the first step is 5 times 9 we are going to write here which is 45 if you are doing it with me you will be clear with the concept very easily okay so first step is we are going to multiply 9 with 5 and i have written it here now second step is i'll write 3 multiplied by 4 3 times 4 is 12 i hope these two steps are clear to you now let's move to third step third step as you remember we did cross multiplication here also we are going to do cross multiplication 3 times 5 is 30 so i'm going to write 30 here and 9 times 7 is 63 remember we are solving first two digit here okay this number will not talk about so we have solved this now what we are going to do this step is done I have already did the class multiplication of 9 with 7 and 6 with 5. Now next step is I'm going to erase it so that you don't get confused because next step is 6 and this. So 3 times 6 makes it 18 and 7 times 4 makes it 28. Am I clear? First we did without 3 and 4 we did cross multiplication here and we have written it down here. And in next step, I erased it and I have done cross multiplication with 3 and 6, 4 and 7. I have written it down here. Now what we are going to do, I am going to erase this so that you will understand the next step very clearly. So the next step is you are going to multiply 4 
with 5. So 4 times 5 makes it 20. Clear? Same way the other two ends that is 3 multiplied by 9. 3 times 9 is 27. Done. Now last is 6 multiplied by 7 that makes it 42. Be little attentive in this third step. You remember we are multiplying. What we are multiplying? We are multiplying cross numbers, okay? And you see 4 is multiplied by 5. I circled it and I'm connecting it with uh, 4 and 5 so that you will know that why did I write 20 in between. After that, the next step is again two end of the numbers. So this is 3 and this is 9 which we have circled. We are connecting it with cross multiplication and I have written 9 times 3 is 27. Then comes the time where we are multiplying 7 with 6 and I have written 42. Hope this step is clear to you. Now let's do the next step which is very easy again. Here what we are going to do, we will write the number as it is. So we will write 45 as it is. Here we are going to add and write. So this makes it 93. 7 and 2 makes it 9 and 4 and 4 makes it 8. We have 89. Here we have 8 and 8, 16 or you can directly do 20 and 10, 30. 30 and 16 is 46. And here we have 12. If you, if you did not understand this step, let me explain once again. 45 we are going to write as it is. Then we are going to add 30 and 63. When we add 30 and 63, we get 93. Then we are going to add 20 plus 27. 20 plus 27 gives us 47. 47 and 42 we are going to add and we will get 89. Clear? Then we are adding 18 plus 28 that gives us 46 and 12 as it is. Now it's time to write final answer. How do we write final answer? First number we are going to write as it is 5 and then we are going to move 4 with 7. 4 with 3, I'm sorry. 4 plus 3 makes it 7 so I write it 7. Now 9 goes to 89, okay. 89 plus 9, you can count and write 89 plus 9 is 98. So I'm going to write 8 here and 9 gets added here. Alright, so 46 plus 9, 46 plus 9 gives you 55. I write 5 here and 5 goes here. So 12 and 5 makes it 17 and this is your answer. I hope you understood. We are going to do one more sum. So let's be attentive and follow the steps. I know you may find it a bit challenging here. Once the concept is clear, Continue. once the concept is clear, I'm sure you will easily be able to do it. All right, let's do another three digit number. We are multiplying. So we have 4, 52 multiplied by 3, 6, 4. I have taken little easier numbers so that you can pay attention here. Now see, <clears throat> very simple concept. You need to have 5 columns here. For five columns, you need to draw four lines. So I draw four lines. One, two, three, and four. Are you clear? You can do it along with me so that you can understand the concept well. Once you have done this, our first step is we are multiplying two with four. Please draw the line so that you know which number you have multiplied where. Four times two is eight. I write eight here. Clear? Then second step is we multiply 3 and 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. We are done with the last two numbers. Now the first step is we will ignore 3 and 4 and we'll do cross multiplication here. So if we do cross multiplication here, 
what do we get? 5 times 4 gives us 20 and 2 times 6 gives us 12. Clear? Now, ignore this. I am going to erase this. We have already done this part of calculation. Now, it is time to do this part of calculation. We will ignore this and we are going to do cross multiplication between this. So, 4 times 6 is 24 and 3 times 5 is 15. We are not going to write any number in between because this is for all three number. Fine. I am erasing it so that it is easy for you to understand. Now, we will take the numbers which is and we will miss the middle number. Okay, We are going to ignore the middle number and we are going to multiply 3 with 2. So, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 4 is 16 and 5 times 6 is 30. Clear? If you did not understand, let me explain it to you once again. I erase these lines. 3 gets multiplied by 2. Draw the line. This is cross multiplication. Again, 4 is getting multiplied by 4. I have written 16 and 5 is getting multiplied by 6 and I'm, I have written 30. Now, now it's time to add up all the numbers individually. Now, what we'll do is I'll write 8 as it is and here it makes 32. Here it is 52. You will ask me how did I write 52? 6 plus 6 makes it 2, 1 carry over, 3, 1, 4 and 1, 5. Here it is 39 and here it is 12. Clear? What did we do? We have added the column wise. Okay. After this, this is the time to write final answer. How we are going to write final answer? As you know, first number we are going to write as it is. So, I have written 8 as it is. 2 will come as it is because there is no other number to add with 2. Clear? 3 goes to 2. 3 plus 2 makes it 5. So, I write 5. Now, 39 plus 5. 39 plus 5 makes it 44. I write 4 here. 4 goes to 12. So, 12 plus 4 makes it 16. If you have done it, solve this sum along with me, I am sure you must have understood the concept. And because you understood the concept, it's time to have few sums just for practice. So here I'm going to write your numbers for practice. And this is 2, 1, 7 multiplied by 3, 6, 4. While solving these sums, I want you to have timer on and practice it with timer so that you will know how fast you can actually calculate it. So, I write 3, 2, 4 and 5, 6, 7. This is third and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. This is, I know this seems a bit challenging, but believe me, with practice, it becomes super easy and you can be rest assured about your answer because you are not getting tangled anywhere. Each and every step is solved clearly, individually. Thank you, children. We'll meet again. Keep learning, keep focused. See you. Bye-bye.